Welcome back. The first accredited testing service for essential oils in Southern Africa has been launched. The National Metrology Institute of South Africa has announced that it has received accreditation from the South African National Accreditation System, or SANAS. Being accredited to the standard means that test reports and certificates of analysis for essential oils issued by NAMISA's laboratories can now be accepted internationally without the need for further testing. We're joined by Dr. Maria fernandez Wegli, Senior Manager for Analytical and Material Sciences at NAMISA, for more on this issue. Thank you so much, Doctor, for speaking to us this evening on an issue that I think a lot of people have very little working knowledge on. So perhaps if you could just, you know, give us the baseline. What is metrology and how does it apply specifically to the essential oils industry? Well, metrology is very simply the science of measurement. It's derived from the French word maître, which means to measure. So anything that's relating to measurements and measurement science, um, that's what metrology is about. Now, the National Metrology Institute of South Africa is an entity under the Department of Trade and Industry. And we are there to support uh, and enable fair and safe trade of South African products and services by ensuring that measurements in South Africa are equivalent to measurements in any other part of the world. And we do that through our calibration services, but also through our testing services, and in this case, um, for the essential oils. So, so in other words, you're not just measuring quantities, you're also measuring qualities and properties to make sure that standards um, are too, you know, global, that, that a product made here can be sent overseas and that it will be accepted uh, overseas and that more importantly, uh, producers here will receive uh, the right price for it, so that they'll get a good price for, for products that uh, essentially meet international standards. Um, so, so can you break it down for us? What is being tested for in essential oils? Wow. Um, well, um, for an essential oil certificate of analysis, um, in order for it to be accepted overseas, there are at least six parameters that need to be assessed. Um, and not to get too technical, but it essentially speaks to the purity and quality of the oil. So you're looking at relative density, optical rotation, refractive index, acid value, miscibility, and then most importantly, the one that was very challenging to get locally was the chromatographic profile of the essential oil. Chromatography essentially allows you to separate all the components in that mixture, um, and that essentially speaks to the quality of the oil, because if you're in the flavor and fragrance industry, you're specifically looking for essential oils that have specific components. And you're going to get more money for that oil if it has those specific components in it. So you really want a test certificate that clearly shows your oil has those components in it, and then you can get a better selling price for that oil. Talk to us a little bit about indigenous oils and how uh, this accreditation for the testing facility um, is now going to have an impact on the kinds of oils that are unique to South Africa. Uh, well, through the UNIDO and SECO uh, joint initiative to improve the quality and standards of South African essential and vegetable oils, um, it looks holistically across the essential oil value chain and in looking at it, they identified gaps. One of them was the testing gap, which NAMISA amongst two other laboratories is filling. But then there was also the need for national standards that describe the qualities of our indigenous oils. So we're looking at indigenous essential oils like your Cape chamomile, your buchu, your helichrysum, your African lemon bush, which is the lipia, um, and well, I can't remember, the rose geranium. So th those are examples of five um, South African indigenous oils that have very unique properties. So whether it be um, antiseptic, antimicrobial, but also very distinctive fragrances. Um, we currently don't have those standards. And through this joint program, um, they're looking at developing those standards that allow you to allocate and clearly say that if you are a South African 
um, rose geranium, you will have these specific properties, you will have these specific components. And that again allows you to position yourself ni nicely in the international market, again to have better negotiating power. One can only assume that testing to this level um, would require incredibly advanced equipment, uh, infrastructure. Tell us a little bit about the process of getting this uh, accreditation. But I think NAMISA was already very well positioned. Um, we are the Apex Laboratory in South Africa because we keep the national measurement standards for South Africa. So we are very well equipped in terms of instrumentation, but also in terms of expertise. Um, and more than that, we have a very well established quality system that allows us to implement um, new methods, niche measurements, um, a lot quicker than uh, other laboratories would be able to do. Um, so when this program launched and we started looking at indigenous oils, we were well set up to do that. Um, it's not something that um, your routine commercial laboratory would be able mm. to pick up. And again, because essential oil analysis is such a niche service, um, we really had to look more to the public infrastructure to provide this kind of critical support to our SMEs and emerging farmers. And of course, there is also a, a cost implication as well. Um, you know, there has always been the option for producers to send their essential oils overseas uh, to be tested by international laboratories, but I can only imagine that must be incredibly expensive. So will, will this local process be made, um, I'm assuming, affordable so that all uh, producers can meet those, those standards? Absolutely, it's incredibly um, expensive especially if you're an emerging farmer or an SME, to get your precious essential oil overseas for analysis. Um, not only for the cost of the test, but the cost of um, actually clearing it through customs, getting it shipped there because it is actually seen as a hazardous commodity uh, because it is a flammable oil. Mm. So you're going to end up paying even more just to get your sample there. It might be held up in customs. And this has frustrated people in the past. That's why having this local, proudly South African testing service available, we've certainly made it a lot more accessible to our um, local producers, not just in terms of cost, but also in terms of turnaround time, because now you can get a result much quicker than you would if you were trying to send it overseas. And that just helps you to get your product to the market a lot sooner. Well, uh, I'm sure this is going to open a lot of doors for our local producers. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to speak to us and to explain that process to us. Uh, we, we, I think, all know, now know a little bit more about the essential oils industry in South Africa. That was Dr. Maria Fernandez-Whaley, Senior Manager for Analytical and Material Sciences at NAMISA.